Hello everybody, it is July 23rd and today's reading is from The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie. And it's, it's, it's a theme, I think. It's very somatic lately. I think the universe is trying to tell me and you guys something, but it's called Making It Happen. And it says, stop trying so hard to make it happen. Stop doing so much. If doing so much is wearing you out or not achieving the desired results, stop thinking so much and so hard about it. Stop worrying so about it. Stop trying to force, to manipulate, to coerce, or to make it happen. Making things happen is controlling. We can take positive action to help things happen. We can do our part, but many of us do much more than our part. We overstep the boundaries from caring and doing our part into controlling, caretaking, and coercing. Controlling is self-defeating. It doesn't work. By overextending ourselves to make something happen, we may actually be stopping it from happening. Do your part in a relaxed, peaceful harmony. Do your part in relaxed, peaceful harmony. <laughs> then let it go. Just let it go. Force yourself to let it go if necessary. Act as if. Put as much energy into letting it go as you have into trying to control. You'll get much better results. It may not happen. It may not happen the way we wanted it to and hoped it would be, but our controlling wouldn't have made it happen either. Learn to let things happen because that's what they'll do anyways. And while we're waiting to see what happens, we'll be happier and so will those around us. Today I will stop forcing things to happen. Instead, I will allow things to happen naturally. If I catch myself trying to force events or control people, I will stop and figure out a way to detach. Well, if that ain't just a kick in the pants. You know, it's finding that, like, that fine line between taking the action and controlling the results or expect having taking the action and having expectations of what the results might be. And I am in this massive creative mode and I am I am really outputting a lot. And I'm obsessing on it. I'm thinking about it so much and it, and, but and it's all good. Good stuff. Exciting stuff. It's it's got me energized. However, I know and it happened yesterday that the shoe's going to drop at some point, right? That I'm going to, that this high level of energy is going to drop. And I can't force it. So what do I have to do? I have to do, take productive action every day. Productive action. Something that is going to get me from point A to point B. And I don't know what that production ac action has to look like, but I know it has to be something productive. And then I have to let go of what the results are going to be. And how does one do that? It is, it is so, that is, that is something I've been working on for nine years. Taking the action and letting the results up to good old HP. It's so fascinating. When you do it, when, when, when I'm successful at practicing that, it is so much easier and typically 10 times better than I could have even imagined the results to be. Most, most every time. When I am very much dead set on a certain, certain outcome and it doesn't happen, then I'm, I'm kind of a mess. I'm kind of pissy or I'm kind of bummed out. And I am one of these people that used to get my hopes up real, real high. Like I would get all excited. I'm, I'm an excitable person, but I would get all excited and then I would get so disappointed, especially in romantic situations. And, and I think it's kind of like the same concept. You, you can't force it. You have to let it flow. And this has been the theme of readings multiple times this week. So I guess... Um, I guess I have to trust. Oh, and since you're watching, you must have to trust something too. So I am, I'm going to be here now. I'm go going to trust 
and have some joy along the way. That's what I'm really, I keep saying trying. I gotta stop. Don't be a try hard, Vicky. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you so much for listening. This, this really um, helps me very much. I hope it helps you as much as it helps me. And if you're interested in subscribing, please do so down on that button that's red that says subscribe. And there are some links if you're interested in being on the mailing list. It is link, There's a link there, too, to my WordPress site. So more fun stuff to come. I hope you have a fabulous day. Namaste and peace.